Hello and welcome to the inaugural episode of Hypnopompic State, a series of short videos developed for the Dreamscope Artist Toolkit. We are Alex and Leo, foreign artists and fabricators starting a business in the UK. Together we form like Voltron to become Hypnopomp, a company making guitars and cool shit for the discerning consumer. These days, artists are often asked to be entrepreneurs in their own right. Not only creative, but also business savvy. Follow us down as we share some of the glorious knowledge we've gleaned through trial and error with you, dear viewer. If you've ever wondered how to get started in a creative endeavor as a foreigner in the UK, here's what we've got. To be honest, today's topic is a dry one. All things being equal, the traditional business plan model we've been discussing is going the way of the dodo. Most companies and investors will be looking for a more to-the-point, visually-oriented, lean canvas model. However, all the same concepts can be applied outside of this long-form format that we were forced to develop in applying for a UK startup visa. First, have an idea. This one's on you. If you don't have one already, I'm not sure why you're watching this, but read Tony Robbins or some shit. Have a unique objective that recognizes a need in the world that you can fulfill, ideally in a shower of fame and wealth or gratifying self-actualization or whatever. The first thing you should do is write a 500-word outline. You need to define this plan if anybody's going to believe that it can be executed. Even if you won't need to present the 500-word outline to anybody, it's a good exercise in boiling your idea down to its most important constituent parts. Firstly, we're going to apply the basics of who, what, when, where, why, and how, if a little bit out of order. Work to define these seemingly simple aspects before you move on to more complicated plans to be communicated. Number one, what. What is the essence of your business? What is the gap you're filling in the market? What is your USP? Is anyone else doing this? And if so, how are you going to do it better? Two, who. What about you makes you special? What experience puts you above the rest? Who the fuck are you anyway? You don't need to be super well established in the field, but there does need to be something unique about you that qualifies you to be moving forward with this plan. Three. How? How are you going to accomplish this? Here begins some of the real nitty gritty stuff. What do you need in terms of materials, labor, skills, capital, and other resources? Four. Where? Where will you do it? Why are you starting in this particular locale? Why here? And what kind of facilities will you require to get your work done? Five. When? It's good to set ambitious goals, but they need to be achievable, and your timeline has to reasonably reflect the space your labor eats up. When can you start? Once you start, how often will you hit your targets? What even are your targets? Six, why? Now's a good time to revisit the common theme throughout. Why you? And why in the world are you doing this instead of getting a real job? Finally, we come to another guiding light in this. Even though you did a very good job like a big kid who wears big kid pants and makes poops on purpose, you absolutely fucked it up and need to go back and edit the shit out of it. Refine, 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 and follow the concept of KISS. Remember that your main concerns should be innovation, viability, and scalability. Onward to the business plan proper. For this, you'll need a table of contents, executive summary, business profile, marketing plan, operations plan, risk assessment, and this is too many things all at once, so we'll slow it down and take it beat by beat. Number one, the table of contents and executive summary. You don't technically have any contents yet or anything to summarize, but you will, and each section will need to be rendered down and represented here in the end. 2. Business Profile Describe the industry you're getting into. Who else? What else? How else? What will you provide or create, and where will you make it? Here's where you will discuss possible hurdles, further define goals, and provide mission and vision statements. 3. Your Marketing Plan I mean, arguably, our least favorite part of this mess is how to sell it. Everybody's shilling something these days, so you've got to be a better salesman than most. How and where are you going to sell this thing? What is this thing, and who are you selling it to? Who are your competitors, and how can you outclass them? Number four, operations plan. The meat and potatoes, or soy and potatoes, or whatever, of your outline. Here, you account for all the infrastructure that your day-to-day -day relies on to run smoothly. Any employees, suppliers, apps, applications, server space, business partners, etc. that you'll require need to be included. Five, risk assessment. Pragmatism is a hallmark of a successful entrepreneur. What are some potential areas of weakness in your proposal? Be honest with yourself here for your own good. Cover industry risks. Could the entire industry suddenly decline or collapse? What about more specific risks, like losing suppliers necessary to your production line? How would you be able to keep afloat in a bad situation? You can use this area to highlight your agility and ability for seeing ahead. 6. Financial plan. Lastly, we have the numbers. 
If you, like us, have the mathematical ability of a heavily concussed halibut, gather your information as best you can and bring in someone who has experience, or even pay a professional if you have the ability. Potential investors, institutions, and the government are going to see right through any mealy mouth nonsense you try to jam in here, and you really don't want to sound like a dipshit in the final paragraph. And that's about it. Now rinse, lather, repeat. You absolutely fucked up a whole bunch of times in here and need to refine, refine, refine once again. And again. And again. Shine this up until you can't imagine a world in which it has any remaining issues, then pass it off to a respected editor who will naturally find it riddled with spelling errors. As you refine, try to keep your objectives smart. Continuously come back to the why and the how, with specific what's, when's, and who's peppered in. Why you? Why this? Sell it, talk it up, pursue those leads. Now, you've refined this thing down to exactly what it needs to be. Great job. Pat yourself on the back. Don't throw your arm out of socket in the process, though, because you're going to need it, because you absolutely fucked this up, and you need to continue refining. I mean, at least that was our experience. Like Sisyphus, our days generally ended up watching our precious boulder roll all the way back down the hill, sometimes even rolling over us in the process. If the grind of this ever gets you down, just remember, the worst that could happen is only that you'll fail and everything will go to shit.